Good day and welcome back to a, another World of Warcraft video. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at the Nightfall Sanctum and basically how you can clear it at tier 8. Now, you'll see I showed you the location of the delve. It's at 35.46 in, obviously, Hallowfall. My gear is currently 6.07. I have a two-set bonus. Very well geared for this by now. We've done a couple of tier 8s. We're looking really, really good. Uh, in terms of the general information, so in terms of brand build, uh, obviously running my standard brand build with Porcelain Arrowhead and the Amphorius Relic. Now you have two scenarios here. The first scenario will have you start at the back end of the dungeon, whereby you'll be shot via crossbow. You will then pick up the sanctified supplies and you will have to clear these spheres by cleansing the wards around them. The inverse scenario is almost the exact same thing. Instead you'll start at the front of the dungeon. You will then have to cleanse the different ground wards that you find. But the process is very very simple. You'll fight the same mobs and you'll find the, fight the same ads and you'll have to avoid the same environmental hazards that you'll face all around. Something super important to note is that this expanding purple circle uh, that you find throughout the dungeon in both scenarios is your big environmental hazard. Uh, basically to cut a long story short, if you walk into it, it will start firing a volley of dark energy at you, which generally isn't something you want to deal with. Uh, so in terms of, like let's talk, you know, standard uh, kind of difficulties that we can face here. Uh, Nightfall initiatives or initiates, not a big problem. Nightfall executors, not a huge problem. They'll cast stab, but they're generally very weak. Nightfall hope stealers, these are spellcasters that you're going to want to interrupt Shadowbolt for as it does decent damage. Nightfall lookouts, which are the archers, only really cast shoot. It does a bit of damage, but besides that, they're not really a huge problem. And then you get Shade Guards who cast the Blessing of Dusk. All of these are fairly simple. The big ones you have to deal with are the Nightfall Shades and the two different, obviously, variations of them. Now, the Weeping Shade is a smaller, less difficult variation of the Nightfall Shade. The Nightfall Shade is the bigger mini boss. You're going to want to make sure that you avoid the Shadow Strike as much as possible via Interrupts as it does big damage. And of course you want to avoid their frontal and their conal fear slash uh, damage abilities. They're very easy, they show up on the ground, but the shades are definitely where you may want to pop CDs, cooldowns, and just generally make sure that you deal with them as quickly as possible. To be honest with you, this dungeon delve, sorry, is very straightforward. Now in terms of boss, depending on the scenario, you will have two different bosses. They're actually very similar. I find though that the trio of spellcasters is slightly harder than Davenruth. Uh, so with the trio, you have to focus. Uh, one of them will cast Shadow Wave constantly, which you will need to avoid as it is a uninterruptible ability. You will then want to interrupt the Blessing of Dusk and Shadow Barrier as much as possible. Shadow Barrier makes them quite significantly tankier. And besides that, you're going to want to obviously interrupt Shadow Bolt where possible. I highly suggest you take out the spellcaster that is casting uh, Shadow Barrier as much as possible and as quickly as possible. Focus down one of them rather than trying to take all three down at once. It is a lot easier. Davenruth is a lot simpler. You just simply have to avoid a Shadow Sweep. Interrupt his Blessing of Dusk. You need to interrupt his Darkfire Volley as first priority. And then that's pretty much it. He's actually super simple. I find him a lot easier to deal with than the trio of the Inquisitor spellcasters, just simply because he's one target, so interrupting and focusing on which interrupts to utilize is a lot easier. But that's it for the delve. Very straightforward, super simple, and hopefully something that you can all uh, really, really get into. Let me know if you have any more issues. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, take care. Stay safe and bye.